This is question one from paper 2-1 from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International. In the description below this video, you'll find an image to this question or a link to an image of this question so you can try it before looking at my solution. This is a nice uh, short uh, question one to get us started in a question. All you need to know here is, or all you need to remember really, is your logarithmic rules. So when you're dealing with logarithmics, there's about a set of about seven or eight rules. It's best to try and remember. You, we do prove them, we go through where they come from, but it's best to try and remember. For example, two logs with the same base. So this is log to the base E, log to the base E, we call a natural log. When they add together or take away, there's a certain thin, thing that happens. In this case, take away, but really it's the same thing. Uh, when they add together, they multiply, and when they take away, they divide. Divide and multiply are very similar. So this actually becomes natural log of x plus 1 divided by x. That's what these two become. And that still equals 2 natural log 2. But there's another rule involving this, so I don't need to write this again. Um, when, when a number multiplies by a natural log, it's the same as natural log, the, this 2 is the one that was already here, and this 2 becomes a power here. So I can rewrite from that to this. Now the great advantage of this is we now just have a natural log in front of both of them. How do we get rid of that? Uh, we can multiply both sides, we can add both sides, but we can also put both sides to the power of, um, or as the power of E. As the power of E. So that's what I'm gonna do to both sides. And conveniently enough, E and natural log cancels. E and natural log cancels. Don't worry, you don't need to have this here. The examiner will not, will not mind if you just put a line through the two natural logs. Lots of students say, oh, they cancel each other. Not technically true, but it works fine. I, uh, you'll often hear me say it even. Okay, so what are we left with? We're left with x plus one divided by x is equal to four, uh, two to the power two. So let's just try and solve this. Multiply both sides by x. x plus one um, equals four x. Let's take x, take x away from both sides. Um, so we're left with one over here and four x minus x is three x. So we're left with x is equal one over three. And that's it, that's all the question required of us. If you have any follow-up questions, any mistakes I made, anything you need clarification on, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best. If you check out the next video, we'll do question two, three, four, they'll all be in a playlist you can find underneath this video. Thanks for watching, have a great day.